Oh, hooked up. Walking across the uh, lock here. Pretty sweet. Looks like there's a diving team here. Look at that gorgeous spillway. Beautiful. How's it going today, guys? Catch release fishing. I'm here at the Muskingum River. This is the very first time I've ever set foot on the Muskingum River. It's about four o'clock. Well, it's five o'clock. I'm fishing the evening bite. I got about four hours to fish. I'm gonna come down here and see what I can catch. I got an awesome spillway right here. This is McConnellsville Lock and Dam area, whatever you wanna call it. There's a boat out there with some scuba divers. I don't know what they're doing. It's like two feet out there, but hopefully everybody's all right. Anyway, we're gonna get to fishing down here. I'm gonna throw some jerk baits, swim baits, see if we can't get into whatever wants to bite. Stay tuned for the action, guys. Let's go. I wanna get close to this wall. Here we go. Looks like a good area to start. I'm gonna I'm gonna target this wall. Try to hit that sp the water coming over in the whitewash because that's where a lot of fish will be hanging out. We're gonna do a gear check real quick. I brought two rods. I bought a medium rod and I brought a medium heavy, both 2,500 reels, but the medium heavy, if I get into hybrids or something um, consistently, we'll just switch over to the medium heavy. It can handle those bigger fish a lot better. But I'm gonna start out with just the medium rod. I got um, 15 pound flirt, uh, 15 pound power bro and I got a haze dong swim bait from mega bass hopefully I can reach that area out there but my other rod I got a big jerk bait on this is the one I got in the small jaw brawl for the random for entering the small jaw brawl like the first 10 that sign up got a uh, jerk bait it's a lucky craft so we'll throw that out here too thanks mark for sending it to me it's an awesome looking pattern I'm excited to use it down here but we'll just try around with the swim bait at first and see what kind of action we can get into. All right, I'm gonna switch it up. Um, I'm gonna switch over to this giant jerk bait I got. It's awesome. It's got the chartreuse in blue on the top. It's a Lucky Craft Pointer 127 MR Slender. Awesome jerk bait that I won in the small jaw brawl as just a random giveaway. So we'll give this a shot, see if we can't catch some fish on it. Oh, hooked up. Oh, it just broke me off. Are you kidding me? What? Wow, there goes that jerk bait. That just snapped my line clean off. What? Well, at least we know some fish are here. All right, let's try this again. Please comment down below if you think I'm doing this wrong. I run a double uni. This is 15 pound Power Pro and 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. I do eight wraps to 10 wraps with the braid, four to five wraps with the fluorocarbon and cinch it down. And I mean, when I, I can pull this as hard as I can. I'll just cut my fingers all up. But then I run it down to a improved clinch knot on the jerk bait. This is the second time I've missed big fish just in the past couple days, which is crazy. Embarrassing too, but the first time was a knot failure. That time my line just got completely, it was frayed and cut at the end. So I don't know what that was. Could have been a big hybrid with the gill plates, musky. I don't really know if there's musky in this river. There probably is, but Comment down below what do you think I'm doing wrong with my uh, braid to leader knots. Let's get it back in there. Oh, just missed one. Come back, come back. Oh, hooked up. Oh, I lost him. Oh, no. What? Whoa, that was crazy. I just got thumped twice. I hit that very corner. Let's see if I can do that again. Oh! 
Oh, there we go. Hooked up. Right in the falls, too. It's fighting like a catfish. Ooh. Come on, baby. Don't know, have no idea what it is yet. It's pulling drag. Let's see what it is. Ooh. Something nice. Ooh, hybrid, hybrid, hybrid. Nice hybrid. Come here, buddy. Let's go! Yes! First fish in the Muskingum. Nice hybrid. Gorgeous. That's a little pig. These guys are tricky to get off. Powerful little buggers. There we go, guys. Awesome first catch in the Muskingum River. Awesome, awesome fish. Let's get a measurement. About 18 inches. All right, let's let this river beast go. That's a chubby guy. Look at the belly. Awesome, awesome catch. That must have been what was down there that hit me last time and broke me off. There we go. There you go, buddy. Let's go! All right, I'm gonna tie uh, a four inch, I think this is a four inch X wrap on my medium rod here. I can get some major distance with this because it seems like I'm getting all the bites right at the base of the waterfall and I can't really reach it with anything else except a heavier bait. So we'll try this one out. Hooked up. Get it right on the paws. What in the heck? <laughs> A little channel key in. Hit my X wrap. Come on, buddy. There we go. Second species here. Little channel cat. See you later, Muskingum River. All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for me here today. Came down here on a scouting mission. Successful, slash heartbreaking, slash disappointing, slash getting owned. If you enjoy someone getting beat a lot on the river, you gotta watch my videos, because it happens to me quite often. But um, I had a blast. It wasn't bad, honestly. Lost the fish, snapped my line over there in that spillway, which there's big boulders and stuff. And 12 pound fluorocarbon can only hold up to so much. I might need to upgrade my gear, honestly. I might have to switch up to like a 15 pound fluorocarbon. We'll see, but I had a good time. If you want to see me come back here, I think I'm going to come back here and catfish. I might bring a catfish rod or hook one of my bass rods up as a catfish rod, throw some shad cut bait chubs something like that just to keep the action going catch some catfish and other species on the side while i'm targeting game fish like hybrids and saw guy and smallmouth and stuff like that so if you want to see that comment down below that you want to see that because i could start bringing a cat rod and chucking some meat out there and you never know what you're going to catch on that so if you enjoyed the action hit the like button down below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys out in the water let's go yeah.